<laughs> I think we need to talk about transportation. Yes. <laughs> now, um, I had emailed the Department of Transportation in the state of Washington. Yes. And the Federal Department of Transportation. <laughs> and my civil rights are being violated, and I want them enforced today. <laughs> Now, for all the state and federal employees that have an obligation to disclose the evidence of fraud, mm -hmm. waste, abuse, and mismanagement, Sheriff, mm -hmm. I want you to understand how actual real people in the United States travel. Yes. <laughs> Most of them have automobiles. Yeah. They drive on roads. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of them do take trains mm -hmm. and getting from point A to point B. That's correct. Mm-hmm. Quite often, we have to use buses. Oh, that could be city buses, county buses, or bus uh, companies mm -hmm. that bus us from one state to another. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there's what's known as air travel. Mm -hmm. Now, we, uh -huh, known as the population, use airplanes. Oh. We don't use space scooters. Mm -hmm. And for any war that you were planning on uh, paying for. Yeah that uses any mode of transportation that is unavailable to the actual population, I would have a problem with you spending taxpayer funds, yes, manufacturing and building top-secret space scooters, yes, so that you could have some sort of global uh, uh, galactic war. Mm. Now, any time the Department of Defense mm -hmm, decides to invest in, yes, any sort of space technology, oh, where you have space bases, <laughs> space scooters, yes, and satellite systems so that you can remove yourselves from planet Earth, yeah, <laughs> and you can have a top secret war in outer space. <clears throat> Each and every individual that goes up there, yes, should have been a citizen of the United States. <laughs> then they would require, yes, they would be required, yes. To use the mode of transportation available to the population. <clears throat> now, I'm aware of these different companies yes. that are planning on mm -hmm. making available to yes. the population the the experience yes. mm -hmm. of uh, having one of these uh, these space shuttles go to outer space so that you can see the Earth from space. Yeah, <laughs> but the way I see it, yes. This is what's called the Super Guppy, <laughs> an air cargo plane that has transported Gemini capsules. Oh, uh -huh. its tail is about as high as a five-story building. Oh my gosh! Yeah, this is Aerospace Lines. Ooch! <laughs> now, back in the day, uh, you had to take an airplane up to the upper atmosphere, and then you'd release something, and it'd go into outer space. <laughs> but I think somebody has some top-secret technology that you don't want to make available to the population because of its military uses. Yes. <laughs> then the world's largest oil tankers from Japanese Itametsu. Yeah. Which displaces more than 200,000 tons. Look at that. Mm -hmm. See, I wanted to purchase most of the used oil tankers throughout the world. Yes. Kind of clean them out of the oil. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And fill them full of shit. <clears throat> And uh, turn that into fertilizer mm -hmm. that would be available to those that grow various agricultural crops. <laughs> now, let's say I had all the oil tankers today. <laughs> because oil is very important in a time of war and you wanted to use space scooters. Uh -huh. Exactly what kind of fuel does that use? Does it use oil, diesel, or unleaded gas? <laughs> because... 